Can you cross the rods to signify yes, please? Thank you. Can you open the rods to signify no? Thank you. Have humans changed and manipulated the Bible over the years? Thank you. Ah, uh, but I would like to counter with my own test. It's called consulting the magic shoe. If the shoe drops, that means yes. If it doesn't, that means no. Magic shoe. Is this guy using dubious methods to push his agenda? Well, it looks like the other shoe just dropped. Magic shoe. Am I the most handsome, bestest, prettiest boy in all the land? Sorry, boys. Looks like there's a new top G. Of course, someone might argue the shoe is not really magical, and I am just dropping it when I want to to get the answer that I want, which is the same thing going on with this guy. What he's using is called dowsing rods, which are used in pseudoscientific procedures to allegedly find water, buried treasure, or answer tough questions in the way you already believe to be true. Scientists have been pointing out for decades now what causes the dowsing rods to move is unconscious muscular activity. People subconsciously adjust their muscles ever so slightly, without even realizing it, to confirm what their emotions or confirmation bias want. For example, if you're really intrigued by something, you might unconsciously move slightly forward. If you're disgusted by something, you might unconsciously move a little further back. This is just what humans do without thinking. And likewise, if you're using the dowsing rods, you might unconsciously adjust your wrist ever so slightly to get that yes you really want. Scientists have run experiments for years to see if the dowsing method has any real power, and the results are always negative. For example, in 2002, a randomized double-blind study tested to see if homeopaths could use the dowsing method to distinguish between bryonia and a placebo, and of course they couldn't. Now all this would just be laughable to us if people were not using dowsing rods to push some pretty dangerous things. For example, Should all people eat a whole food plant-based diet in order to heal cancer? Yeah, that is utter nonsense, and this guy should be ashamed of himself. There is no reason to think just switching to a whole food, plant-based diet will cure your cancer. If you have cancer, you should follow the treatment plan of a medical doctor, not the advice from some guy in his car with magic rods.